Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, man, we back. Goodfella Sports TV. Let's talk some boxing. Uh, apparently, Roly and Terrence had some issues. Um, we're going to talk about that. And also, we're going to talk about... Leonard Ellaby saying that the Tank is going to fight one of the four kings, whatever they call these bullshit ass. Don't ever disrespect Marvin Hagler, Ray Leonard, Duran, and Sugar Ray, uh, excuse me, Leonard, Hearns, Duran, and Hagler. The Fabulous Four, these, this ain't no big four. Stop it. Then they talking about Devin, Ryan, T.O., and Tank. And them motherfuckers ain't even the best fighters from 30 to 35. Secure it in Cobra. I take Secure and Cobra over. Besides T.O. over most of them, you know? But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button. Bell like. I'm also going to talk about Anthony Joshua. Talking about retirement. But speak on that. Spit on that tank thing. Um, We already know he going to fight. Uh, He, he going to fight Ryan Garcia. And I don't get it. Neither one of them got a real belt at that division. Okay? Ryan being Luke Campbell like he won the Undisputed Championship. What they should be aiming for as at T.O. Fima Lopez. And Lopez is willing to fight them, and Bob is willing to make T.O. and Tank. But, you know, then we in the era, we in the era of boxing where, you know, they 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 they, they care more about pay-per-view numbers, and ain't none of these motherfuckers doing great pay-per-view numbers compared to the fighters of yesterday. They care more about pay-per-view numbers than they care about world titles. Tank calling himself a three-time world title. You ain't no three-time. You won one world title. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia ain't won a world title yet. So him and Tank fight, it ain't no world championship fight. Why don't y'all go beat Tiafima Lopez and then fight each other for Undisputed? And that's sad that these dudes are rather, they didn't want to fight Loma, they don't want to fight uh, Tiafima Lopez, but they want to fight each other. And don't nobody respect neither one of them as champions. At this point, Ryan Garcia, people think Ryan Garcia can win. He might can win. But then again, he stands straight up. All it's going to take is Tank to throw a jab to the solar plexus, to the stomach, shit, even to the head. They come over the top. That's it. Ryan Chin fly straight up. He, he's a walking lick. His chin fly, fly straight up. You know? And then again, he just he ain't got no footwork, no technique. If Tank struggle versus him, man, Baltimore should just own him, which he shouldn't. All that body that's there to be had. Come on, man. It's, 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 it's messed up when numbers are more important than uh than titles you know you go in the hall of fame well he did he did over five million pay-per-views man get out of here man let's talk about he was champion how many times and how many weight divisions and you know all the great fighters he fought whoop -de -whoop, whoop -de -whoop. oh he defended his title this many times that's what it's about and you got to blame mayweather for this shit when niggas talk about numbers how many numbers and how many in the pay-per-views they did instead of talking about titles, championships, how many times I unified, was I undisputed? That's what it's about. That's what it's about. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Don't nobody care about the rest? That's what we. That's what we want. We want championships. We want. We want. And then at the end of the day, man, it is what it is. Man, they want to make that fight, make it. Neither one of them motherfuckers great fighters yet. Neither one of them. But a lot of people. Oh, you did this many numbers, and you know we was on with uh, Lion Killer Bernie and uh, a few other people. And they're talking about he did this many numbers and this many numbers. Nobody care about these weak ass numbers they doing. Reach a meal. Reach a milli, nigga. These dudes can't reach a milli. All this hype and Mayweather co-signing you and you and Al Heyman, they can't reach a milli. So what are we talking about? But I mean, that's what they want to do, so be it. But I ain't really, like, I ain't really hype like people hyping this fight up because I'm an old school boxing dude. I want to see the best fight the best. And I think that's what we all want to see. We want to see the gladiator sport. 
we want dudes to be chasing champions and unified champions and not chasing uh, numbers because guess what? You niggas is not going to reach the numbers of, of, of real pay-per-view pay glory days. Million, million point two, two. You're not going to catch me with it. You know, because you don't have the person. Y'all don't have the personality, you know, and technology. Why would I pay the zone twenty dollars a month? I can watch all they fights in the same clarity and the same view for free. Why would I pay eighty dollars for Javante when I can take that eighty dollars, get some in dog, get something to eat, and watch the fight on my TV? I don't have to. I don't have to be subjected to watching on the, uh, my TV, my uh, computer screen no more. And even if I did, computer screens are streaming in like eight and four K, and maybe eight K too, and HD. So look here. I, you know, when you buy a fight these days, you don't know what you're going to get. You know, you don't know if you're going to get a great fight like Sean and Earl, or you're going to get a doozy. So, I'm not, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that shit. You can suck my dick. Now, one of them go beat T.O., and I respect it. I'll buy it. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, apparently, Roley uh, Crawford was at Earl fight arguing about, you know, who beat Gamboa. He said he beat Gamboa in sparring. He said, basically, you know... I got more power. Royce had more power than Crawford. This is like, this is like a dope thing. Saying he, he saying he he can know how to be more wealthier than Bill Gates. Get out of here. The, the, these dudes a joke. Roley, he, uh, he, uh, he talk like he got a dick in his throat. Fuck his mouth. Feel like he got a dick in his throat and some peanuts in his mouth. Hey, you know, Ted. Like, dude, you like the worst boxer ever, nigga. Like, you the worst fighter to be a prize fighter. Like, I have never seen a fighter worse than you. You know, and then Crawford gets on FaceTime and, tell, and call Floyd and ask Floyd, can he spar him? Like, if he sparred Rowley, he wouldn't be the same fighter unless Terrence held back on him. Unless Terrence say, uh, yo, no, we don't want it. You know, I ain't want, you know, he I ain't gonna beat him up that bad. Rowley is garbage. And Floyd Mayweather seem like he get garbage fighters on purpose. Let me get the worst fighter out the bunch. That's what Floyd, like he do. He don't recruit no real good fighters. He got a uh, tank and they say truck. I ain't really never seen truck fight. You know, he ain't, he ain't getting no real good fighters because he don't want nobody to pass him up for real. Like, in what, in what history would any guy that claimed to be the greatest fighter of all time, which he not the greatest and nor the best, the greatest Muhammad Ali, the best fighter in my opinion of all time is Sugar Ray Robinson, okay? And, and Muhammad Ali got his game from Sugar Ray Robinson. You, you, you just put a footage. This is how Ray used to do it. But at the end of the day, Muhammad Ali wouldn't sign Rolly. He'd get Rolly some money and tell him to go, you know, build a business. Go do something else. Make some boxing gloves. You know. Like Rolly is trash. He really think he hit hard. You hit hard for, for a novice. If you really hit hard like that, he was a puncher like that. Why Mar Marina has really beat you and then he walked out the ring, regardless. Come on. And this coach trying to go along with it. I know you got to die with the lie. Anybody that's coaching Roley <laughs> need to be banned from talking to fighters at all. Yeah, I'll show Roley how to do this. And I just mean, you better show Roley how to get back to basics and footwork and how to slide in the ring, how to step up and step back. You don't know how to do none of that. Boy, boy is square. For real, boy is square for real, man. But, I mean, they want to sit there and hype them up, hype them up. It's just, they're going to put them in there with somebody that they least expect it. They're going to do the yin yang twin. Boom, Miss Song, we're going to rock your dome, bitch. What's happening? That's what happened to his ass. He going to wake up like, what happened? <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. I ain't going to spend long. I really didn't feel like doing no videos today. But, that nigga Miles be, Ooh. But, um, yeah, Anthony Joshua said he got five more years in the sport. Um... Remember Deontay Wilder said the same thing? Well, I want to fight till then. I want to fight till this point. And what happened with Anthony, with Deontay Wilder? Got put to sleep. You know, got beat up. So when you're always talking about how many, you know, your retirement, it ain't never good. It ain't never good to speak that into existence. I don't believe in Christianity and all that shit, but I believe in the energies and karma and speaking things into fruition or speaking into in, in existence. And when you talk about a retirement, it ain't never good to hear athletes talk about retirement. Now, if he accomplished a goal and he get money, I mean, he get titles and he be like, man, I did everything I did in the sport. I'm ready to go. 
Maybe I have a farewell fight. That's cool. But Anthony Joshua was in the thick of his career. They say for a prize fight like 30, 30 years old, it's like they peak, depending on the fighter. But when you're talking about retiring, it's, you always, it already defeats you. You already think about after I lose the beat of fury, I'm ready to go. Never speak retirement into existence. Don't even talk about it in public. You know, talk about it, you know, in your head. Until you're ready, you really know you're ready to retire. So, I mean, let me, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, all my links are social media links are scriptural. I've got a Facebook group link. Check that uh, Check that link. I push you on through. Don't forget, you want to make a donation. Cash app, CJGood313. That's in the description. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate. Share the video. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. We go. All right. Make sure you check out my homie's channel, The Red Pill Diaries. He is the owner of The Hell Blaze. So I'm pretty sure you've seen the ads on my channel. He has a new channel that he wants the information to get out to you guys. So check out his channel. It's called The Red Pill Diaries. All one word. T-H-E-R-E-D-P-I-L-L-D-I-A-R-I-E-S. For those who are listening, one word on YouTube, he wants you to check it out. So go ahead and check them out over there. Shout out to the brother Rashid for giving me a first opportunity to be able to advertise on my channel. So shout out to him. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate the love and support. Check out the channel. We go.